Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today, because we're crying havoc. You hear a disturbance, and oh dear, it must be the dog again. The baritone percussion of his barking echoes through the locomotive. There's a pressing question to consider. Where is the noise coming from? Where else would he go? Sure enough, the inadvisably big dog is down there, exultant to the, uh, oh, it's the hold, of course, um, exultant to the fond... Uh, to have found such a wonderful playground. Upon noticing your arrival, he becomes even more excited, gamboling about in eager figures of eight. He's too big to simply cart away. You'll need to figure out how to tempt him from the old, or the hold. Um, pet him into submission, or tire him with a game of catch. I will die. Let's pet him into submission. Who wouldn't? How better to soothe the savage beast? You begin with his shaggy, silken ears. A good scratching that gives you leverage to start combing fingers through his belt, massaging his underbelly, and nuzzling into his neck. By the time you're done, you're both half asleep, and the dog is exhausted into tail-wagging placidity. I... I am the best at managing the dog. <laughs> oh, boy. Basically, having that dog is... Uh, you just get to make checks to not destroy your 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 people. Uh, as far as I can tell, people can die from the dog. I think that might have happened. The first check, I think I failed. Uh, but apparently, there's just a correct answer. Either that or it's a random choice, a random chance. I don't think that's... I don't know if that's... I don't know. I don't know if that's good design or not, if that is the case. Like, um, I know The Sims 1 did that. Uh, I know other games do that as well, where there's random encounters or random events, and, uh, oh, I, what, what am I thinking? Darkest Dungeon, I think, does that? Yeah, so basically what happens is you get an event like that, and w no matter which choice you choose, there's always a 50% chance that it will succeed, and a 50% chance that it will fail. Uh, and so you need to write four different outcomes and still roll the dice. So it doesn't it literally does not matter where you, what you choose It's still fun for the first playthrough, but I, I think that's why I uh, that's for an assailing. I don't need it I think that's why I'm not a big fan of it from a design standpoint For a let's play it works perfectly. It's fine. Whatever. It's a big dog. Who doesn't want a big dog? I mean apart from all the inconveniences of, of, of the big it's a big dog who would want a big dog but you know what I mean it's like who doesn't want a big dog I don't know it's big dogs are good when there's somebody else's and you're on the beach and or I get well actually dogs in the beach is a little bit of a thing but in a place where you can play with a dog that's that's what they're good for because uh, you don't you don't have to spend money with the dog and you just get all the profits of, of playing the dog. Okay, there we go. Finally here. We have things and we need food. And I'm not sure our fuel situation is gonna is gonna last for very long. So, uh, I need to sell wood. Required five consignments of good bronze wood for vital restoration works of the Parliament Undercroft. At least not fireworks. The member is beside herself with glee. Oh, wonderful! We'll be able to stock the good wines from Pan again. She coughs. I mean, reopen an important forum for facilitating bipartisan camaraderie. And I've gained a ministry stamped permit. And also a bit of experience. Just that. Also the money that we paid, which is actually pretty good because we need that. Caddies of teas. Uh, well, I have some. I don't need to uh, to get that. I do need this, though. One, two, three. That should be good enough. And uh, we also need a port report. Never forget the port report. Uh, also, enjoy a scone. Uh, jam first. And people are upset. Of course. Some people are very happy. That's also a thing. Compile a port report. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, that's good. Observe the people's perpetual thing. I don't think that I need anything here. Oh, no, I do. Hiccup. I do need to look for that person. Or info on that person that requires... Uh, that, that can be pardoned. I don't remember where that was, though. It's this one. The courtier's story. Ask about the disgraced former courtier. She had friends in Parliament. Perhaps they might be willing to fill in a, a little of her history for you. The MP for Lesser Richmond is puttering about the corridors. She sputters into her handkerchief when you mention the courtier's name. She asks you to wait in her office while she fetches the courtier's friend. 
A bewhiskered undersecretary appears in the doorway. She offers you the MP's ginger biscuits and a dram of her whiskey. He makes sure the door is firmly closed before he'll tell you anything. Eventually, he finishes, quite red-faced. You are given to understand the throne was thoroughly cleaned afterwards. The same cannot be said for the courtier's reputation. Okay, well, I suppose I, I did that. Um, and that's another potential courtier. It's another potential... Uh, these people are just arrested for, as far as I can tell, enjoying some worldly pleasures in inappropriate places as far as I can tell so that's just how it is um yeah let's not oh I lose terror for ignoring the prote protest this is fantastic I did not know that I suppose I also gain uh, lose terror if I join it I don't remember exactly uh so I think we're do we're done here we're doing here I don't know where my my words are going so we have to go to the clockwork sun we also have... Uh, that's a terror, isn't it? Uh, what is that? Something ghastly. Oh, oh the aberration. Um, I want to see what that is. But I also want to see what that is. So this looks like a good place to travel. Sure. I'm definitely not going to murder anybody. Myself, I mean. <laughs> definitely not going to die is what I mean to say. <laughs> Murder and dying, that's the same thing at the end of the day. It's just, you just need to change who does it. Uh, let's see, going south immediately. So, due south, not using our fuel, because that is our most precious commodity. It's not actually, it's very cheap, but... Oh, our terror is going up. Oh, Canton Ketty, slow down. Oh, many Canton Ketties. Go away, I don't need you. You're gonna crash against each other? No, they're just frolicking about. Okay, the thunder... Of industry has fallen silent. It has indeed. It's all broken. Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. Okay, how do I want to do this? I want to do this like this. And then uh, aim at that corner. Right there. Oh, my hips. My hips. That was so close. Which makes me think they're, they don't actually judge the size of the ship. It's just the square. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. A uh, terrible, terrible ship that deserves to die. I don't know what you're doing, mate. Yes, crash against the wall. Oh, loot! Uh, break the coffins open, reduce my terror. Yes, please. Yeah, that was lucky, actually. An Albion Marauder. It's just a Marauder. Those are easy. If I need to fight it. My problem is the, the fuel. We had five when we left. Now we have four. Yeah, if I don't, you know... The full stream, full steam ahead, or 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 strafe a whole lot. I'm good. Is this a thing? It is not. Another thing I'm noticing. Oh my God! Look at that thing is rotating. Another thing I'm noticing is that um, the scouting is more important earlier in the game because that's when you need. Well, to find the, the cities and whatnot, but also when you need the money. The Tardy Brown is where we are. I feel that that's a reference to something. The sky yawns. London has scarcely touched these white panels. I bet I have been in there. That feels like the place I've been to, where I got scarred for life. Oh, no, not those. Oh, Jesus. No, go away. Oh, it's saw me. Oh, jeez. That's bad. I don't like that. That's really bad. Also, this is... I don't remember what that is. I don't know what it gives me. I don't remember, but it's like something terrible. Like a strip of flesh or something awful like that. <laughs> something ghastly. And I, I, I was trying to think of another word for for horrible uh, in English. British English. So they, th those actually do crap their way through the skies. That, that's definitely what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, no, there's another one. Oh, crap. Literally. Hey, what's up? Okay. Yeah, they, they go down easily. Uh, loose terror. Yeah, absolutely. Disperse the rubble. Oh, really? I don't think I've ever done that one. The fragments could be a menace to passing engines. Cleared it out of the way as a service to the Skyfarers. You gently shunt the larger pieces, pieces away. The crew are heartened to be doing something for the general good. Good stuff. I'm not really sure how you do that in space or in sky, but you do that. Oh, no. You did not need to do that. That's just a marauder, isn't it? 
Yeah, I don't need you. Yeah, you can. You, you're good. I've dealt with your kind before, although I'm not actually losing you right now. Ooh, that was a that was a good move though. That ramming from the side. That's uh, just, uh the commander over there is a captain, or whatever. Oh, what would he be? The leader of a? Oh no, it's out of my tails. Oh no. Oh yeah, the moment it gets into um, uh, it gets into range, it sort of tries to start dancing about. So it just loses loses my my track. I don't like where I'm going. Ooh, it chugged and then light appeared. I think it's this field that showed up. Uh, there's nothing here though. Uh, there is something. It, it's the sunless. It's the sun, the mechanical sun. The air shimmers and twinkles. Yeah, the sky is full of broken glass. It is, isn't it? We've been here before. It's the sun. It gets, it glassifies all the things and then they break because, well, that's just how things work. They break. <laughs> things just break. Everything is broken stuff. A rock is a broken thing. Uh, well, I guess living things are not broken. Unless they are dead, in which case it is, sort of. And being here is a terror fuel nightmare thing. Can't see anything! It's fine, we've been here. Oh! Oh, yeah. Terror going up, I think. And let's dock and get out. We have... Uh, yeah, I didn't even think of what we need to do here, because I might have... Clockwork Sun, three permits. I need three permits. I have three permits. Look at that. Um, that's what I need for a mission. We'll we'll look at that in a little bit. Uh, looking at other... Office of Works, three unseasoned. I don't actually know what Office of Works is. It might be anywhere. Clockwork Sun, three permits, and that's about that, though. So nothing much. <clears throat> nothing much. So uh, let's start off with the bazaar. So we sell the tea. And get Ministry stamp permits. We have a lot of them, so we're going to spend them, which is good enough. The Clockwork Sun does not, of course, run on tea. But the Battalion of Engineers who maintain it surely must. Every month, a new tender for three caddies of dried tea is offered. Regular as, yes, Clockwork. Clockwork Sun lies to the south-southeast of London. A solitary, uh, solitary foreman asks you to wheel the tea through the empty corridors of a storeroom, or to a storeroom. It is stacked with identical, unopened, dust-covered crates. Either the sun's engineers don't like tea, unthinkable, or there are fewer of them than is pre presumed. Which is, I think, what is actually the case, but it's fine. So we can sell panes of glass. We can't sand sell panes of glass. We can buy fuel, though, so I'll buy that. Uh, and uh, that's about that on this side. Sunspur is here, so I can scavenging with the dawn rats. Is that what I needed? A nervous face whispers to you from behind a bulkhead. Hmm. No, no. The dawn rats are not my rats. Do I even have them? I thought they left them behind. No, they're here. They're our chief engineer. Fantastic. The rat brigade. That's the one. Clockwork sun. Uh, report the sun. No, right report. Report. Absolutely. Good, good, good. Head towards the azimuth. Strength of the sun is a 41. Holy crap. It's getting worse, isn't it? We're going to destroy the world if we don't help this. Uh, the, sun, the sun descending to the Terpsichore vault, which might be where I need to go. Isn't that the one that gives me... No, it is exactly here. Oh, lovely. Beneath the machine bristling surface, you find a ring of nine vault doors, each engraved with the name of a classical muse. Eight are locked and barred behind signs saying things like vacant or under renovation, or in one case, unfortunate chronological discrepancies. The ninth, marked Terpsichore, is the only door open to you. When you enter, your footsteps ring through dusty barracks and abandoned canteens. These are the engineers' quarters, but they are all on the surface, working. Except one. The broken steward has been working on the sun since before it first shone. She has been here far, far longer than any of the engineers above. Uh, the broken steward makes her way carefully towards you, cane clacking on the floor. She has a markedly stiff-limbed gait, and her arms creak 
as she moves her helmet. Yeah, she's classified, as the other ones tend to be. Um, speak with a broken steward. She smiles. Her teeth glint oddly. It's class, you dummy. Uh, let's bring three permits to the broken steward. I think that she wants to live. Uh, well, she wants to live for sure, but she wants to leave. Um, and I think that's what it is. One, to authorize the release of the half glass empty. Oh, no, no, no. That's for half glass empty. That's right. We're going to get a new companion, I think. Uh, one, to authorize the authorization. And a third, to confirm that the authorization has been authorized. That's fair enough. The steward takes the permits, shuffles through them, and then drops them straight into a waste paper bin. Seems to be in order, she says. I don't know why you, uh, why we were tasked with keeping prisoners here anyway. As far as I'm concerned, my job is to keep the bally lights on. Not mess around in politics. Come on, I need to supervise release releases personally. Not that it's ever come up before. Her mouth is a green, li a green line as she redons her helmet with the occasional hiss of pain. She takes her, way she makes her way to the surface. And I think we're gonna get half glass. Let me just mark this mission as done on my notebook here. Entering the glass house, the steward can only stare in horror at the state of the prisoners. Has she really been so isolated until now? The sun, she mutters. Broken, hateful thing. Damn it. Silent, silently, she unlocks the empty cell, and then she quickly turns to leave. You hear something shatter. She limps away, knee crunching, leaning heavily on her cane. Uh, that's bad, isn't it? Hmm. She's not gonna be okay, is she? Huh. The empty steps carefully from his cell. Half his face is contorted with rage and grief and relief. The other half is impassive. Thank you, says the freed prisoner. He pauses, struggling with himself, and then simply repeats, Thank you. Shuffling awkwardly, partly assisted by your crew, the half-glass empty boards your train. He doesn't know where he wants to get you uh, to go yet. He says, just away. And uh, freeing the half-glass has been done, as, as, as far as I can tell. And an occurrence, your half-glass empty quality is now one. Ah, thank you. It's lovely. Um, and I'm not going to do anything else because I do need to get out of here because this place is, that thing is freaking me out over there. Uh, we do need to go around, though, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem because I want to explore that bit. And it's, uh, if I know this game, it's just going to be a dead end because I... Yeah, we'll, we'll see. But we're going to need to go around through here. And uh, so how's our terror? It is going up, but it's like it's just shining at me. Huh. Curious. Okay, let it be for right now. We'll 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 figure it out. Um how is our half glass empty go doing? Nope. That is just yeah. We are probably just in waiting of um in waiting of uh, him talking to us, as happens with the devil and other companions. The devil was actually a, an officer, but, eh, well, whatever. I was sort of hoping to get a new officer. So, how are we going to do this? I hope there's a corridor, because I like corridors. Give me corridors. That looks like a corridor to me. It's just glass. Hmm... Yeah, stay away from the sun, basically. That's an unfortunate, because it means that we're going to need to clear this out later. Most likely. I don't know what that is. Do you see the size of that? What the heck was that? Oh, it's ours. Oh, bad boy. Bad boy. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. These are the ones that I like. Look at these. I don't know what that is. It's just... Are those... Oh, you can see more of them back there. It looks like bridges, but it... Of course, they're glassified and whatnot. Or whatever was on them became glass rather than the bridges themselves. Okay, that's a good place to go eventually, but not right now. Really fortunate that the, the big black machine 
decided to uh, to not pursue me, or if it did decide to pursue me, didn't do a very good job of, job of it. Just can hear the shimmering in the background. Okay, that looks like a dead end for sure, but it it might not be. It is not. Is it? What is it called? Oh, the cliffs of the Armswold rise about you. The crew complain. It's like being buried. Yeah, it it, it is. It is it really. It's special, isn't it? I, I don't fancy the idea of being buried, though. What the heck's that? What the heck is any of this? That is a place. So that's the end of the world there. Wreck of the Boatman. A wreck drifts just ahead. Fierce winds rock it like an empty cradle. Its black and silver bulk gleams in your lights as you search for its nameplate, the boatman. Captain, a signaler wants your attention. That's an Acropolis line engine. Brought the dead to memoriam. He's wide, wide, or uh, highs widen. But it disappeared one eve. They say the dead woke and commandeered the train. Nonsense, I'm sure. He doesn't look convinced. Well, prepare to board the boatman. We're doing it. Your signaler crosses himself. Yeah, we can, we can, we can do this. I don't think have, there's any mission for this, but it is one of those locations that we're just going to gain terror every time. It's like the, the other ship. There's a few places that have it. The Broken Sun, I think, is a place that we can explore as well. Yeah. Your pilot grazes the Rex hull and has to reverse. Your navigator's hand slips. Well, winching the locomotive close. A clang resounds throughout your engine. When you've finally docked, you select a few of your crew to join you. The outer door to the boatman is rimmed with frost. The bolts shriek as they are pulled across. Inside, your torchlight reveals a narrow corridor in somber black, opening onto darker doorways, likely the crew cabins. There is a long moan from somewhere deeper in the engine. Probably the boilers, your stoker whispers, pressing forward through the cabins. You hear the rattle of something that might be chains. A bolt loose in the chassis, your stoker suggests less confidently. The boatman is as dark and cold as the grave. Gas lights flicker on the walls, none substantial enough to illuminate more than the empty doorways ahead. A shattered window in the galley is responsible for the merciless cold. The source of the faint but insistent knocking is less clear. What happened here? I'm going to explore the boatman here. And, of course, gain a little bit of terror. Light in hand, you wander the empty cabins and carriages. The floor of the boiler room is scarred with scorch marks. The captain's cabin is littered with pieces of furniture. There are bullets in the walls. There are no coffins aboard, but the hold is locked. A great groaning emanates from within. The boatman is as dark. Yes, it is. Investigate the galley, investigate the engine room, investigate the crew cabins. Let's go with the crew cabins. The gas lights reveal only darkness. You can see nothing inside. The crew cabins are charmless and cramped. Crew slept two at a cabin, or to a cabin. In some cases, the division of space was ruthlessly enforced. Here a sheet has been pinned to the ceiling and floor, neatly halving the room. Someone knocks thrice on the wall in the next cabin. All your crew are behind you. A hasty scramble for the door reveals the next room is locked and barred from the, op the outside. You order a burly stoker to bring down the door. Inside, the cabin is like the rest, empty. Empty, that is, aside from the skeleton laid out on the bed, in a cassock rather than the necropolis line uniform. The chaplain? A groaning can be heard from below, like the, the sound of a pipe before it bursts, or a particularly unhappy digestive tract. That's not a good... <laughs> That's not a good analogy there, or uh, the, the, it's not really an, an analogy, but anyway. Um, let's go to the engine room. Heat emanates from within. The air is as hot and dry as the heart of the work world. The incinerator has been switched on. Something is burning inside. Peering in, you can make out the remains of a bundle of black and silver uniforms, smoldering into ash. A gaslight gutters and dies. You are left in darkness. That's bad. Let's investigate the galley, then. Something rattles inside. A carelessly opened 
cupboard expels an array of personal effects. Brass cufflinks, a conductor's whistle, pewter mugs embellished with memento mori, brass polish for the coffin fixtures, charts of the roots to memoriam, the standard equipment of Necropolis line staff. But where are the crew? You can hear weeping somewhere far away. Well, we need to investigate the captain's cabin, but we also need to end the episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.